Hello everyone, and welcome to another exciting game of Dead by Daylight as a survivor. So, yeah. What's going on? Not much. I am working on the doctor video, but it is going to take some time. There is a lot to tell and a lot to share about the doctor, and I want to give you guys the best quality doctor video I can. So, it may be another week or two before I'm able to get the doctor video out, just because I'm really busy right now, especially with finals fast approaching. I'm really busy with college classes and all that. But in the meantime, I will still be doing these survivor tip videos slash gameplay footage or just these small quick videos that I can do that they really don't take that much time to make, which is why I'm able to um, get them out quicker than say the doctor video, which is going to be such an in-depth guide that it's going to take a lot of time to make that. Plus, I need games, you know? I need games against the Doctor, and I don't go against the Doctor every single game. But, uh, in the meantime, I'll keep trying to get some good videos up for you guys to watch and learn. So, this is the map of Blood Lodge. We're on Blood Lodge, and Blood Lodge is one of the most survivor-sided maps in the game. You can pretty much get to any safe area really fast. And this hillbilly is very eager to hit me. See that? That was a, I want to hit you, but I don't want to get hit by the pallet. Okay, so he hit me there, but I got my lives, so that's why it's okay. I wasted my spook. I wasted my speed boost, yes, by jumping the pallet, but since I have live, it like counters that waste because I get that boost. What I'm doing now is going around this big pallet loop and then going to this pallet. Because you want to keep those big pallet loop pallets up as long as possible. Because those pallet loops are the safest pallet loops in the game that will buy you the most time against a killer. So if you can waste a small pallet loop pallet instead of a big pallet loop pallet, you'll be better off. And he goes to the generator to try and find someone who is easier to catch, which is a smart move on the killer, because I would waste a ton of time if he kept chasing me. Okay, the killer is coming back, so we got a split. He decides to chase Lori. Lori... That makes me cringe a little. She wasted that pallet so hard. One, she got hit. Yes, she stunned the killer, but she got hit. <laughs> and that was a really good pallet loop. But that's okay, I guess. He didn't get her, and... Someone's uh, fast vaulting out of a locker for no reason. And gets hit. Oh wait, no, did they fast fall into the locker? I guess they did. And the hillbilly gets them. Not sure what your plan was there, but definitely not the good one. Fast vaulting a locker notifies the killer with a little explosion. So if you fast fall into a locker, the killer will 100% know you are in that locker. So I... Do not recommend doing that, or else you end up like that Claudette here, on a hook. And she's getting hard patrolled. I'm looking around the corner to see where the hillbilly is, and I saw him by Killer Shack. So now I'm gonna try and go for the save, but it sounds like he's coming back. Let's check it out. So he is coming back. He's holding the chainsaw, even though nobody's here. Well, I'm here. He doesn't see me. But now he sees my scratch marks. Uh... I'm sorry, Claudette. I failed you. Rip. 
I totally wasted that pallet because I was expecting him to not get stunned by running into an object. But he, look, he immediately leaves me and goes back to the hook. So. Sorry, Claudette. I don't have borrowed time. Listen to that heartbeat. Sorry about my dog. He is looking out the window and he sees stuff. And he likes to either whine at stuff that's outside or bark at it. He usually whines when there are people outside, though. And he barks a lot at dogs. Oh, look, there's the barking. <laughs> Okay, so pretty sure he did not see me. Let's go around. Alrighty then, he did not see me somehow. So let's go to that generator Claudette died by. I guess someone blew up a gen over there, because why else would he chainsaw over? Rip the lorry. Okay. So I guess Lori and Dwight were together because he did not pick her up and he walked away. And look at that, he's chasing him. So let's go heal this Lori. So this is what I mean by being map aware and being aware of what's going on in the game. You have to keep looking and watching, see these opportunities and go for them. If I hadn't gotten that Lori up, she'd be on a hook by now. So, and I don't even have bond or anything on. I'm just using my camera to look and pay attention. If you're wondering why I have technician on, of all perks, it's because I needed footage of technician for my Feng video, and so this was it. Okay, so I'm gonna use my camera here to look around the corner, see if the hillbilly decides to hard patrol again or leave for that gen. Looking intently. Oh, okay, so. Good job there, Technician. Saved me from the skill check so the hillbilly doesn't know I'm here. The I saw the hillbilly go across the map, which is why I missed that skill check. I was so busy looking at him going across the map, I wasn't ready for it. But because I saw him, I know I can go for the save. And I know he's chasing Dwight because he just hit Dwight. And I know there's no way he can get back here super fast unless he uses his chainsaw, which he does not. And Lori is smart enough to let me heal her. A lot of people, when you save them from the hook, they'll immediately run away. That's not what you want to do, especially if you know the killer is chasing someone. You gotta let your savior heal you. And so together, we finish the last gen. And I'll go for the exit gate back here. Lori is going for the other exit gate, which is good. This Lori knows how to play. She just got caught in a bad situation with the first chainsaw, I think. And probably just greedy for the stun points when she wasted that pallet, honestly. Keeping my camera looking out for that hillbilly. Especially if you're in that chainsaw. Because against the hillbilly, you gotta hear that chainsaw because it means death is approaching if you are not paying attention okay so now i'm trying to figure out where dwight is trying to figure out if he's safe or not you're the hillbilly so making sure i'm out of open areas 
Okay, got huge lag spike here, just teleporting around these tires. Okay, Lori left. That's not what you want to do. I like to stick around until I know everyone's safe, and I'm pretty sure everyone else is safe, while the one other person is safe, because I saw Hillbilly Chainsaw to an exit gate, which means he lost sight of Dwight, and I'll just take the hatch. So thank you everybody for watching, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. As always, good luck out there in the fog, and see ya next time.